In this video, we're going to begin adding some functionality to our chat. So the one thing I do actually want to do though, I want to change out this editable text box to simple editable text. So you can just right click, replace with, Never mind, you can't. So I'm just going to copy this text, delete the editable text box, and just set it as editable text. Make it fill the entire bottom. And make it a good bit bigger. About like that, so by one. Right, default text. Change the font back to 16 or 18. Eh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So now we need to start thinking about how we want to add some functionality. Well, we want to send messages from the lobby chat. We want to get access to this main menu, which holds all of our information for the beacons and that kind of thing. So we want to call a function on here. And what I mean by that is we go from the lobby chat and we press enter, for example, to commit the text. We want to have it send a message in our main menu. We'll call a function that's in our main menu, passing in the message. Message then gets access to our beacon depending on whether or not we're the host. So client beacon over the client host beacon for the host and go from there to send everything we'll send it down to the uh, rest of the clients and or host so to do that we need to create a variable here in the graph of the lobby chat let's call this one main menu and the type's going to be w underscore main menu object reference instance editable and expose it on spawn. I'm going to delete event tick and event preconstruct, and we can begin. So first thing I want to do is in designer for this editable text, I'm going to change it to et underscore chat or input message. Make an on text committed event commit method. You can see if you hover over it, it's e text commit. So e text commit. I'm going to do a switch on enter. We're going to print string. And we're just going to print the text and make sure that works. So enter. And it prints the text. So we're good to go. All right, so now we need to set the main menu variable to this chat widget. So to do that, we're going to make a function, call it set parent widget. I've already done that. I'm actually remaking this video as I screwed up the first one. We make a new function, call it set, or let's just call it set main menu widget. Make it take in a parameter of, yeah, it's already the same, of the w underscore main menu widget. And call it main menu ref for reference. And we're going to set main menu our variable to equal that. So from here on enter pressed, we're going to get the main menu. We're going to check if it's valid. If it's valid, we're going to call a function that we make on it. So back in main menu, we can create a public function. Let's call this one send chat message. And what I want to make it do, make it have an input of text. Let's call this one chat message for the name. And we're going to simply do a print text. And I want to print it for eight seconds as a test. All right, so back to lobby chat. If the main menu is valid, we're going to do send chat message and we're going to pass in the text as the parameter so now when i play i press enter okay. nothing is being sent apparently 
So let's check out it's not valid. So print string. All right, so it is not valid. And I just realized I forgot to actually set it. So in the event graph, we need to call set main menu widget. So in the event graph of the main menu, when we click host game, which is this button here, and we create our beacon and all that, we want to call, well, we want to get our lobby widget. And let's call set main menu widget. And the variable that we're going to pass in is going to be a reference to self. That was not it. Self. And that will be our reference. So now it should go through. There we go. So now it's printing out the message via send chat message. So that's good. Now we need to think of what we need to do. So first off, we're going to check if we're the host. So we're going to do a branch from is host. We want to do it from a client first. So if it's false, we want to get our client beacon and send, we'll call a function that we have on it. So let's think of how to do that. So under protected, let's make a separate section for the chat. Gonna be a u function for loop print callable. It's gonna be void send chat message, and we're gonna take in a f text chat message like so. Go ahead and create the definition, and we're gonna make a server RPC. So u function server reliable with validation we're going to do void server underscore send chat message taking in the same parameter and we need our validate and implementation version so underscore validate and underscore implementation. So now we need to create the definition for validate and implementation. So let's head over to our CPP and change our validate to just return true by default. And we're going to print out the text on the server. So UE log. And print out chat message, so I cannot apparently do that. I want to do f string from let's see. Maybe I can just construct it normally. Apparently not. So f string message. We need to fix this. So let's see. Maybe it's f text or no chat message dot to string. There we go. So that should send it on the well, we're gonna set it on the server. So what we're gonna do for now is call server underscore send chat message chat message and compile. So let's see in our widget. I'll wait for it to finish compiling before we do anything. But we're going from the client to the server, and then we're going to go from the server to the clients. Well, all the clients, actually. Got an issue. This is because sending an F text. Let's try a constant reference. Which 
I'm actually going to do that in everywhere. And let's see if that fixes it. For f, f strings, you can only send a constant reference uh, via RPCs. All right, so we compiled, and now we need to continue. So if we're not the host, meaning we're false, we're going to get the client beacon. Check if it's valid. If it is, then we will, let's see. Uh, what was it called? Send chat message, which I'm not seeing, so that means I need to restart the editor. There we go. So send chat message. Whoops. And chat message. So now let's test and see. We should be able to see it in the server's log when we actually go to send it. So this one's the server, this one's the client, go ahead and connect, and hello test message, enter, server, let's see, does not appear like anything went through. All right, so let's tinker with it and see where we made a mistake. I'm going to try printing it on the client and just see if the client actually sees it. Because yeah, this host should be false, so that should have fired. I'm going to do a print string, sending message to server. That one's the client. This one's the server. It's only printing out hello. So it does not seem like it's actually printing out the message. So I'm going to probably test that real quick inside of here. And nothing's running. <coughs> Let's see, where were we printing hello? So main menu is not valid, it prints out hello. So let's see. Ah, when we join the game, we need to do this as well. So let's go up to, let's see, on connected. If we are in fact connected, then we will set the lobby widget. So that would be why. Isn't bug fixing fun? on the client. It's client at server. And sending message to server. And here we have the server which received the message. Alright, so we are able to send it to the server. So now I'm going to go ahead, and because this video is getting a little long, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And in the next one, we will set up that. So if we're the, we're going to set it up to go from the server, now that we have the message, to the rest of the clients. 
and yeah, that's about it. We're just going to make it so we can easily send it, and then once we have that functionality in place, we can easily go through and go from send a message from the host to all the clients, pretty much using the same function, hopefully. So I uh, will see you in that one.